little bit better and that's by Stace. Oh, yeah. And Stace is with me here Thank in you. the studio, WCOMLP in downtown Carboro. So Stace, you know, that's a really good example of what we were talking about. That, right. is, that is not the kind of rap that I've heard that just has a kind of monotonous backbeat. You've got exactly. so much going on musically here. Exactly. And uh, it reminds me of Janelle Monet. Yeah. Uh, who I've seen yeah. perform here, in fact, yeah. when she was coming through promoting President Obama. Yeah. And I love her music. I love, yeah, yeah. Oh, I yes. love her too. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> um, so now let's talk about the objectification of women. Let's do it. Let's talk about sex. Uh, first of all, I want to you know make sure that you understand where I'm coming from with some of these questions. Okay. Uh, besides being an atheist, I happen to be a pagan mm -hmm. in the following sense. I don't accept Judeo-Christian values about sex, okay. which I think basically say that sex is dirty, nasty, terrible, animal, and awful, okay. unless it's redeemed. Okay. And traditionally, you know, the only way you could redeem sex is through marriage. Mm -hmm. These days, uh, you know, the standard is somewhat different, but it really isn't fundamentally different. Yeah. You, if, it, if sex is not redeemed by being in love with somebody, having a relationship with somebody, developing something that has emotional intimacy, if it's just two people who want to give each other pleasure and get pleasure themselves, and that's all there is to it, no kind of emotional intimacy at all, it's still considered bad, nasty, disgusting, and awful. And I don't think that. I don't agree with that at all, but... Hey, this isn't my show, so I'll... I'll uh... You don't agree with what I just said? No, I mean, I think... That's good. I, no, 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 no. You do agree. I do agree. Okay. I think that uh, well, two people want to have good. sex, then All they right, should be able go. to do so, so... Absolutely. So I made a list here. I thought I could just say you could count these off on the fingers of one hand, but mm -hmm. actually you need a few Go, more fingers. Yeah. But of course, uh, you know, as, as I say, I'm a pagan mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, the subject of sex and ethics. It seems to me that there are just certain common sense things, or just basically humanistic things that come from being a decent human being mm -hmm. that uh, should just be kept out of any kind of sexual relationship. And one is force. Right. And I'm not talking about role playing and that sort of thing, right. acting out a fantasy. I'm talking about real force. Right. That's absolutely out. Deceit mm -hmm. about diseases or whatever of else. Betrayal. Right. Cheating. Right. Right. And it should be an adult. Of course. And it should be a human. I uh, would say. I would hope so. And I think this adult human should be alive. Well, yeah. Okay. So yeah. no necrophilia yeah, in, in, in my that. book. And you got to throw in, I think. It's kind of hard to make an argument for it, but you know we just feel so strongly about it. Also, this adult human being who's alive has to be unrelated by blood to you. Of course, I'm okay. With you on all. Of now, this. with all of those, that's just you know a relatively short list of things that I think just just excluded from mm -hmm. any kind of sexual relationship. And so because there's anything different about sex, it's just these are sort of common sense, general, ethical right. Right. concerns right. that you would bring to any kind of situation, and then. Also, I want to add to the list. I don't. I don't want it to have anything to do with defecation. But Definitely. I guess. I guess that's a personal preference. I guess I can't say there's anything immoral no, or ethically no, wrong. It's just nasty. People want to do that, but I want to. Stinks. I almost want to add that to the list. Okay. So when I say I'm a pagan, what I mean is, with the exclusion of those kind of common sense things, anything goes. I mean, my gosh, this idea that you have to be in love with someone to develop a relationship, to have sex with them. Sex is a great form of pleasure. It is a wonderful thing to do. Yeah. So, uh, you know, just as in your song, Get High, I would say get laid. <laughs> and uh, so, and so, so here's, here's my problem with the whole concept of objectification. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, of course, I'm all in favor of making things better for women, for everyone, right. when it comes to a safety from sexual assault and so forth. Right. And, and rape is assault. It is. It is a form of it assault. Is. I, I, agree I don't even think of it as a form of sex. So, um, all right, of course I agree with all that stuff, but the concept of objectification mm -hmm. bothers me, and here I'm bringing my philosopher's scalpel right. to work. I noticed that in your song, I get how you mentioned Socrates. Mm -hmm. So I think you're into Socrates. I am. So you might be into this, okay. My philosopher's scalpel, I take it to the concept of objectification. Seems to me that objectification, this whole concept that we hear so frequently, it confuses two different things. Mm -hmm. One is treating somebody as a thing with no rights, no will, right? Rather than as a person, right? And the other is, well, just being interested in that person for sex, right? And nothing else, right? Where you know you abide by those restrictions we just talked about. So right. What, 
I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So when people say, well, now that's objectifying women or that's objectifying somebody, they, I want to ask, well, what exactly do you mean? Is that always bad? If you mean treating this person as a thing, of course. But you don't have to treat a person as a thing to just, I would love to sleep with you. Mm -hmm. I don't need to know your name. Right. I just want to sleep with you. Right. Okay, so on the one hand, I'm sympathetic to some of these things. On the other hand, I, I defend people like you. I, I know that a lot of people might hear your lyrics you use the B word. I do. That sometimes the B word that runs with which, mm -hmm. sometimes just to refer to women or sexy right. women. Yeah. Some people would say that's sexist. Some people would say that's rape culture. Mm -hmm. You've got this one song where you say, there were so many men who were out in and out of her, we called her lobby. Right. Right? Okay. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I right. guess a lot of people will say you're misogynist. Mm -hmm. They'll say that uh, you're actually contributing to rape culture. Right. I think it's a lot more complicated than that, but let me hear you speak on this topic. Stace. Well, that, that particular line that you're referring to was from a song called It's Getting Harder to Cheat, uh, where I talk about how promiscuous a woman is by simply describing a room. Um, I knew this girl with a body. You mean a particular one? Yes, one. You don't mean women in general. No, 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 no. no I, I, That's always the thing. People yeah. always think, well, you're talking about women. No, no. Um, I knew this girl with a body, but everybody was in her, right. so we called that girl the lobby. Right. Um, that right there, I think, is. It, it shows how creative one person can be to simply talk about a female in relationship to a woman. Yeah. Um, so I haven't used any negative words, I haven't, yeah. you know, I haven't cursed anything like that, I haven't said anything negative. I'm just simply talking about Well, people one, would say that you have said something negative. Well, here, here's the thing, because I'm talking about my life right. experience, right. And, and then I want them to look at the very next line, which says, mm -hmm. I admit it, I hit it. Which yeah. is letting you know that even though I know this, this woman yeah. that I'm referring to is loose, yeah. I still slept with her. Loose. I still had... You know, I, still I don't know. See, with. women who are so-called loose mm -hmm. women, uh, I understand that a lot of men, for some reason I cannot comprehend, always have the attitude of contempt for such mm -hmm. women. My attitude's always been gratitude. Hey, I'm That's always been my attitude. You want to throw some of the pie my way? <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. So, that. all right, but what about your use of the B word? In um, some of your lyrics, I, I, and there are some people who are going to say that's misogynist. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, uh, there are no words that are off limits to me. I say okay. the B word, I say the N word. I noticed, and, yes. And, and uh -huh. I'm a black guy, you uh -huh. know. That doesn't mean I want you yes. to say it, but right. um, I've, I've taken the power uh -huh. out of that word. It, it doesn't mean the same that it used to. Uh, years and years ago. Right. Um, again, it doesn't mean that people are allowed to go around saying it, but when the power it's is... context. It is. Yeah. And I'm yeah. glad you said that. Whether there's an ER yeah. or an A. Yeah, it, it, it is. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, so I, I believe once the power is taken out of something, then it can yeah. no longer be used against you. Um, and, and I use everything to, like I said, to tell my story, to, right. to explain what's going on so you can so you can understand the weight so you can understand the full series yeah you know frank ocean i do you know his stuff yeah i just love that stuff yeah uh great he's stuff. a great writer he, he really is he's an he excellent is. writer and of course there are lots and lots of examples mm -hmm. besides him and you use the n word and so forth right in a particular way in a particular context but still okay let, although i don't believe this personally i'm going to mm -hmm. kind of press the case uh so the, I think the feminist objection might be, okay, mm -hmm. you use the word, B-I-T-C-H, right. to refer to women or sexy women in some of your lyrics. Right. If that's calling a woman a dog, how is that not sexist? Um, I, believe, I believe you really have to take a look at the light in, in which I do it. Uh, and then also, I'm going to say that there are a lot of women out there who have taken the power away from that word as well because they use it themselves. Um, so in that particular song, if let's just say I'm mad at a female, yeah. and I'm you be and this, that, and the third, then yes, mm -hmm. then I I could see how that statement uh, would be looked at in a negative light, like oh you know how dare you yeah, right. how dare you say that. Uh -huh. And then there's some songs, and I know a lot of people won't agree with me, but it could be a love song, and you say oh she's my be and this. Now what that, does that third. mean in that context? Then if it doesn't mean you're a dog, it well no 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 we we definitely don't mean 
she's a dog even though that's the true definition that's, of yeah, that word right. you know a yeah. female dog but we don't mean it in that sense it's more of a it's more of an ownership and I know that uh. that doesn't really come across the right way <laughs> but it's, it's it's more of an ownership um, saying that okay this is my woman she's the baddest uh, female walking yeah. this planet and she's my bee now I've heard a different theory go ahead I've heard the theory that there is kind of a positive or acceptable mm -hmm. way you can understand this word in a highly charged sexual context right. because it's an abbreviation of B word in heat. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, That's I've heard really, that as well. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that. I wasn't going to necessarily use that because, mm -hmm. to me, I feel like that still stays on the topic of a dog. You know, and yeah. I'm, well, I'm kind of getting away from that a okay, little bit. Okay. You know, but but you have an entourage I, here, and I notice that one of them is female, and I'm really curious about her views. Right. Um, <laughs> now, just for those of you following us on Instagram and the social networks. Uh, Shout out to Team States, that is my fan club, and what I do, every city I go to, I let my fan club yeah. come out to wherever I am, and she just so happened to be in North Carolina, yeah. uh, so we have Crystal in the studio with us, and you know, she saw my, my tweet earlier, and, yeah. and she's here, so yes, she is a female, and you know, we, we asked her her thoughts on... Uh, the whole B-word situation. So is, is Stace an unreconstructed sexist, Crystal? I wouldn't call him sexist at all. Okay, she says I would not call him sexist. But we're out of time, unfortunately. So you're going to have to come back and put her on the mic. Oh my God. And <laughs> flew by. I know, it really did fly by. Isn't it uh, great? Time flies when you're having fun. Stace, I just have a tremendous amount of respect for you and, and the you. music that you do and this great organization that you've got. Thank you. And I'm going to say, hey, oh yeah, I knew him when I interviewed yeah. Stace back before he was internationally famous. Yes. All right, I really enjoyed it.